Welcome back everyone to this channel. In this video, we we'll talk about how to resolve a compound fraction that has an irreducible quadratic factor at the denominator. Okay, this is actually the fourth lesson on partial fractions. There are some fractions that has irreducible quadratic factor at the denominator. So how do we reduce them? Now, let's check something. 3s plus 2 all over s plus 1 times s squared plus s plus 2. At the denominator here, we have two factors, x plus 1 and x squared plus s plus 2. x plus 1 is a linear factor. s squared plus s plus 2 is a quadratic factor. Now, this x squared plus s plus 2, it is quadratic and it is not factorizable. That means we cannot factorize it. So what will be the format of the partial fraction of this compound fraction? Since it has one linear factor, I will assign a single constant to the numerator and the linear factor will be under it, s plus one. And since it has a quadratic factor that is not factorizable or that is irreducible, I will assign a linear factor to the numerator in the format bx plus c, okay, all over the s squared plus s plus 2. We can't factorize this s squared plus s plus 2. Check. Think of two numbers that you multiply to give you 2 when added to give 1. It's not possible under the set of real numbers, okay? Hence, it is irreducible. And so the partial fraction decomposition is in this format. Now look at this. At the denominator here, we have two factors, s squared plus 1, 2s squared plus 3x plus 4. Both factors are quadratic. And the most interesting part is that they are irreducible. That is, they are not factorizable. s squared plus 1 cannot be factorized. 2s squared plus 3x plus 4 cannot also be factorized. So the resolution will be in this format. Since both of them are not reducible, I will assign linear factors to their numerators. Let's say the first linear factor, ax plus b, ax plus b, all over the first one, s squared plus 1, then I will assign another linear factor to the second partial fraction. Let's use constant C and D. That will be CX plus D all over this 2S squared plus 3X plus 4. So this is how to decompose partial fractions that have irreducible quadratic denominators, all right? Now, we want to resolve x squared plus 2 all over 2x plus 1 times s squared plus 2x plus 3. 2x plus 1 is a linear factor. x squared plus 2x plus 3 is quadratic and it is irreducible. That is, it cannot be factorized. So, the decomposition will be like this s squared plus 2 all over 2x plus 1, s squared plus 2s plus 3 is equal to, for this linear factor, we have a single constant a at the numerator all over 2s plus 1. And for this quadratic factor, we'll be having a linear factor at the numerator. That will be bx plus c all over s squared plus 2s plus 3. So if we take LCM of the right hand side, we'll have this 2x plus 1 times s squared plus 2x plus 3. Divide the LCM by 2x plus 1, we'll be having this times a, that will be a bracket x squared plus 2s plus 3. 
Divide the LCM again by this, we we'll have 2x plus 1 times this. That will be plus bs plus c bracket 2s plus 1. Okay. The denominators are the same for the two sides. They will cancel out. So we'll be having s squared plus 2 is equal to a bracket s squared plus 2s plus 3 plus b s plus c bracket 2s plus 1. So I want to expand it now. Let's see. A will multiply each term in brackets. We'll have a x squared plus 2 a s plus 3 a. Then let's expand this bracket. b x times 2 x, that's 2 b s squared. b x times 1, that's b x. c times 2 x, that's 2 c x. c times 1, that's c. At the left hand side, we have s squared plus 2. Comparing coefficients, at the left hand side, we have x squared, and the coefficient is 1. At the right hand side, we have terms in x squared ax squared and 2bx squared. Their coefficients are a and 2b. So if we compare, the coefficient of x squared here, which is 1, is equal to the coefficient of x squared here, a plus 2b, equation 1. At the left-hand side, there is no term in x, but at the right-hand side, we have some terms in x, 2ax, bx, 2cx, okay? So since there is no term in x here, we'll take the coefficients to be 0. The coefficient of x at the right-hand side, we have 2a, plus b, then plus 2c, equation 2. We have a constant here, 2. At the right-hand side, we have constant 3a and c. So 2 is equal to 3a plus c, equation 3. So our job now is to solve this equations simultaneously and get the values of a b and c keep watching okay these are the equations let's now solve simultaneously we'll use the substitution method here okay from equation one i want to make a the subject of the formula and if i do that a will be equal to one minus two b 2b will have to cross and turn to minus, okay? That's what we have here. So, I will now substitute. Put 1 minus 2b for a in both equation 2 and equation 3. In place of a here, I write this. In place of a here, I write this. And so, the resulting equations will now be this. Keep watching. Into equation 2, we have 0 is equal to 2, all in brackets, 1 minus 2b plus b plus 2c, okay? So 0 will be equal to 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2b is 4b plus b plus 2c, all right? 2 will cross and turn to minus, minus 2 is equal to Minus 4b plus b is minus 3b, then plus 2c. So we can call this equation 4. Let's now plug this expression for a into equation 3. So into equation 3, we have 2 is equal to 3 brackets. In place of a, we're writing 1 minus 2b, then plus c. That's the c we have here. So let's expand. 2 is equal to 3 minus 6b plus c. Collecting like terms, 3 will cross and turn to minus 3. So 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 6b plus c. And finally, 
minus 1 is equal to minus 6b plus c. Let's see equation 5. Looking at equation 4 and 5, I think it will be easier to eliminate c. What we have to do is just to multiply this entire equation by 2 so that the coefficient of c would be the same for both. We have 2 here. So if I multiply everything here by 2, here will be 2 also. So let's multiply this equation 5 by 2. I will have minus 2 is equal to minus 12b plus 2c. Okay, let's see equation 6. So we can now eliminate c using equation 4 and equation 6 now. To do that, let's just say equation 4 minus equation 6, all right? Minus 2, just follow, minus 2, minus, we are subtracting, minus 2 is equal to minus 3b minus minus 12b plus 2c minus plus 2c. So these two we just cancel out. This is equal to 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Minus minus is a plus. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay. This is minus 3b. Minus minus is a plus. That's what? Plus 12b. It's obvious that b is equal to 0. 0 be equal to minus 3b plus 12b is 9b. Dividing both sides by 9, b will be equal to 0. That's all. So let's get the value of c now. Let's plug in 0 for b into any of the equations. Let's make use of equation 6. Okay? So in place of b here, we have 0. So minus 2 be equal to, if you put 0 here, everything is already 0. So that's out. Remaining what? 2c. So if you divide both sides by 2, which is the coefficient of c, c will be equal to minus 1. So we have to look for a now. Our b is 0. Let's plug in 0 for b into equation 1 so that we can get a. Okay, so in place of b here, write 0. Obviously, we're having 1 equal to a plus 0. Because 0 times 2 is 0. And so a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1. So the constants a, b, and c, we've gotten them. So the partial fraction will now be this. a, which is 1 all over 2x plus 1. b is 0. So everything here is already 0. Okay? Or c, minus 1. So we'll be having just minus 1 here. Alright? Minus times plus is minus. So we have minus 1 all over the denominator. s squared plus 2x plus 3. This is the resolution into partial fractions of this very compound fraction. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video, share the video to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.